Hi, welcome to Art with Anorak. I'm Daisy Rogers from the West Hampshire School of Art. And if you've been joining us for the last few weeks, you'll know that we are drawing the wonderful animals of the Anorak world. And today, because I've been sent this lovely t-shirt from Anorak, I thought we would draw the little foxes that you can see, you can see here. And so what I'd like you to do is get some paper, a pencil, and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm going to film looking at the paper so you can see clearly what I'm doing as we go along. Now, as we've done before, we're going to break down our animal into a series of circles and that just really helps simplify it for us because otherwise it can sometimes feel a bit overwhelming and it's, it's confusing to know where to start. So we're going to start with the body of our fox. Now we're going to do a long oval shape that's lying down and it's just going to slightly have a curve, a little angle there and a curve around to the bottom. Now remember, press very lightly because these are our guidelines and we're going to be rubbing out various bits of these circles and also if we need to change where we're doing something, then the lighter we press, the easier it will be to rub out. So the next circle I've drawn is a funny sort of teardrop shape that's come off the edge of this body that we've created with this first circle. And that's going to act as our tail. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add in our head. So we're going to go to this top edge of the circle here and we're going to add in just a little circle there, slightly taller then it is wide. And from there, we're then going to think about its nose. Now we're just going to add, it's not going to be very big. Oh, I've done that a bit too big there. I'm just going to add another, like we did with our tail here, a sort of teardrop shape oval coming off there. Great. Now I'm actually going to make the body of the fox a little smaller. And what I'm now going to do is start thinking about joining up some of our shapes. So I want to go from the head down to the body. I'm going to go along its back and down to its lovely bushy tail, which we're going to add some nice bushiness to later and different colours. Then I'm going to come from the top of the head and I'm going to think about his ears. So let's do some more of those little egg shaped sort of teardrop circles as one ear. Over the top of the head, slightly smaller ear, remember, because it's further away. And there's our other ear. And then we're going to come down to join the fox's nose. And then we're going to give him a little smile because he's a happy fox. And then we're going to go from the head down to the first section of our body. Now, the next bit we need to do, I think, first of all, what I'm going to do is this is a really good example of why pressing lightly is a great idea. I think that I am going to make the body of our fox a little bit A little bit shorter so I'm going to stop it there and I'm going to add my tail back in over here okay so now what I want to think about doing is adding in some legs now I always find it easiest to start at the back but you can start wherever you like but the main thing that we're going to think about doing is where we had our line coming down from the snout of the fox, long, lovely nose, down his neck to join his tummy, where we have that point there joining the, that circle of the body, that is where, if we did an imaginary line going across, that is where we're going to start our back leg. And our back leg is going to curve down And then it's going to just curve the other way 
to the ground to give us some pause. So there's our leg. Up. I think we'll bring the bushy tail over that way. So then for the leg behind, she first of all, I want to get the tummy in. So let's get the tummy of our fox in. And then let's go to the front leg. Now, like we've done before, we're going to think about that imaginary line going across the bottom where the ground is going to be for our front legs. So the front legs, the legs nearest us, sorry, the, the legs nearest us are going to be sitting on the same line. Okay. And then that's going to come down quite straight. And a little front paw there. And then we can do another leg, just tucked off there like that. And then at the back, following the same line of this leg here, and it's just going, because it's behind this leg closest to us, it's going to be smaller, which means it's going to end higher up like this line did here for this rear paw and it's gonna sit on that line so that then we feel like our fox has the right amount of depth to him. Great, so we've now got ourselves a lovely fox body. Make sure his ears are nice and pointy at the top. And then let's give him an eye, that will help. Always, always helps to make it feel more Alive. Great. Brilliant. So we've got our fox's body in, in pencil, and now we can start thinking about colour. Now, if we look at the little fox on my t-shirt here, we have that lovely, vibrant, bright orange, don't we? So I've got here just a very simple, you, I'm sure you've got one of these at home, just a very simple orange colouring pencil. And I'm also going to look at the white on the fox there, which I'm going to use my the white of my paper for that bit. So let's now go back to our drawing and think about colouring and where we're going to place that lovely bright orange and really make our fox come alive. Right, there he is. So first thing we're going to do is what we've done before and what we talked about earlier is just very lightly just getting rid of the very light guidelines inside the shape of the fox that we don't need anymore. And already you can see how much of a difference that makes in the realism of our fox. So now we'll leave the lines there to separate the bushy tail. We'll come back to that in a minute. And this is where you just get to tidy up. If you're anything like me, some of your pencil marks running everywhere and really make him feel realistic. Great, I'm happy with that. I might just give my fox a slightly longer neck and then coming to join the body there. Brilliant. So next thing we're going to do is think about where the orange is going to go. Now, if we remember the lovely orange of the anorak fox, nice vibrant bright color here. And then what I want it to do is zigzag at the bottom here, because we're going to leave the lovely white tip of our tail. And we're gonna do the same around its face. So, we're going to do a curve like that to separate off this bit here. And then we can think about, I'll leave the ears for the moment, but let's think about colouring in his face. 
Now a tip which we looked at last week, when you're colouring in, when you get to the edges, just slow down. And it just helps keep in the lines. Because it can be tricky, can't it, when you get to the edges. Now I think we should give our fox some little white paws, some little socks. So we're going to do the same sort of zigzaggy design that we did with our tail. We're going to do that for the fox's legs. Now I'm sure your colouring in will be much neater than mine. Now I'm just going to go over some of these colouring in marks so that we don't have that obvious sort of line of direction of different colours but we can really start seeing our fox appear. It's so exciting. Okay, now he's coming down the leg there. We'll do another sort of zigzag, give him that white sock, and we'll give him that little white sock at the back there as well. There we go. Lovely. Okay, now with his ears, what I'd like you to do is inside your teardrop ear there, just create another smaller one. And the same here, just a small one there. And I want you to colour around that. There we go. So we have the white fluffy bit there left. Now what I'm going to do actually is I am just going to grab myself a black felt tip for his eye and also for his nose. And that just helps really define those bits. And then what I want to think about doing is just defining his tail a bit more. So we can use our pencil for this. I remember when you're drawing something like this, it doesn't have to be exactly like real life. You can make it your own and you can change it slightly for effect. So I'm using my pencil at the moment to really define the fox's smile and the outline of his body. And also the lovely separation between the white and orange, just to really make that stand out. So there we are, those are our zigzag lines. And let's just sort out his foot here. Zigzag there, and the one behind. And this also gives you an opportunity just to go back and check you're happy with the little pause and that you can see where the rear leg here, where the definition between the front rear leg and the one furthest away is. And then it comes down here. We might give him some little claws on his paws. There we are, look at that, that's lovely. Well, that was really great fun. And thank you so much for joining me with this latest Anorak adventure. It's been an absolute pleasure and I really look forward to seeing what you've created with your wonderful foxes. Think about maybe having them kissing like we did with the badgers and, or, or, and the bunnies as well. So you could use your fox drawing and then do another one, flip it over and do another one next to it. You could create some wonderful scenery for that fox to live in. And then please do tag your pictures online, get your parents to upload them to Facebook or Instagram or both uh, with the hashtag Anorak Adventures so we can see your wonderful drawings. And join me next week, we're going to be looking at the owl. So it's going to be, I think we're gonna do a nighttime scene and I might even get the paints out. We'll see how we get, get on. Have a wonderful week. 
Thank you for joining me and we'll see you next week. Bye.